It's interesting that the fortunes of Israel rose and fell depending on the conduct of the king at the time. Obviously, leaders are extremely influential, but it's vital that Christians are not simply followers, reflectors of the thoughts of others, blown around by whatever wind is swirling at the time, even the influence of a faulty leader. Second Chronicles 33.9 says, So Manasseh made Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem to err and to do worse than the heathen, whom the Lord had destroyed before the children of Israel. Even though the leader was deeply flawed, it was the responsibility of the people to be true to God, regardless of what was going on around them. And that's true for us at work, where we live, in church, or anywhere. There's a danger a person can be led astray. It's important that whoever you are following doesn't lead you astray. Don't let others influence you away from God. I'm John Bradshaw for It Is Written. Let's live today by every word.